The next filter we're going to look at is the lens correction filter and like the wide angle lens uh, filter this is going to take a look at the information from the camera that you took it on and help do things to adjust the lens whether it be through chromatic aberration or vignetting or uh, being able to edit the distortion that the lens creates you can do that with this filter. So if you go to the top and you click on filter and you go to lens correction and you hit that it'll bring up the uh, options here for you to adjust just like the other filters we can turn the preview on and off we can see the grid and then we can make some corrections now this particular image doesn't have any camera information associated with it now if you did it would fill out all this information and then it would help straighten out this photo based on that lens you can come in here and choose exactly what you would like and then it'll go ahead and start making adjustments based on the types of camera make and models and lenses that you're using if you know that information. So if you don't have that information you can still use a tool by clicking on custom and here you can see all the different things we can do. We can do geometric distortion, chromatic aberration, vignetting, and you can do some transformations. We also have some default settings where we can uh, choose a previous correction we made. We can create a custom correction or a default correction and then we have some menu options for saving and loading any uh, settings that we would like here. So we can move these sliders around and it's going to help uh, undistort this image uh, based on the way that it looks and the way th of the lens that you're using. Uh, the chromatic aberration, sometimes you'll see this in images, so you might need to remove some of that. You can do it here. Vignetting, you can add or remove. If we bump this up, it'll actually get rid of the vignette in this image, so now we have a more clear photo. And then we can change the uh, perspective, so as I adjust this, you can see the perspective moves of this building and uh, straightens it out a little more for us. And we can also do a horizontal perspective left and right if we needed that. We can also change uh, the angle of which that this image sits. And then you can change the scale and make it bigger or smaller. So we'll set that to 100%. And then if we go down and we turn the preview off, you can see the adjustments that have been made. So it has tried to straighten up this image and correct its lens. And again, this is the type of tool where you really just gotta come in here and play around with it a little bit. But as I move these around, you can see how Photoshop is trying to stretch and squash and move that lens to try to correct everything and just give you a better overall image uh, to work with. So hopefully you can find use for that. If you're a photographer, you'll probably find a lot of use for it. And there's more information on Adobe's website that really goes into detail of all the different adjustments that you can make.